Okay, so let's start with Saranac. Sure. So in general, like mm. a craft brewery, and these are all beers from craft breweries, and a craft brewery is a brewery that's small, it's independent, How and many it's craft breweries are there in America now? There's actually, it's a pretty amazing fact, this year in 20, 2020, 12. 12, that's the year. Yeah, right. <laughs> this year, there'll be over 2,012 breweries wow. in America. Amazing. Uh, it's an amazing renaissance of small breweries. And before Prohibition, every town, a beer was part of your daily life. You go to the bakery, you go to uh, the butcher, and you go and stop at the brewery and get your growler of jug of local beer to take home. Just a little for me. Oh, you oh. said that with the first one. We'll see Look. how we do later on. Saranac. <laughs> So you know, what is Saranac? Saranac's a wonderful story. This brewery's been around since 1888 in upstate New York. Using the water from Saranac Lake? From the Adirondacks, exactly. I swam Cheers. in that water. I mean, are, they allow people to swim. It's, <laughs> it's, it's delicious, crisp, deep spring water. This is a lager. So getting back to that two families of beer, mm. you have ale and lager. Uh, a great sort of sweeping generalization is ales tend to be more like red wines, more robust, right. more complex. This is a very Lagers, nice tasting beer. more mellow, more refined, like mm. a white wine. I like that. So that's the uh, Saranac Adirondack Lager. Then we're going to go into Ale. Pale yep. Ale 31. Yep, and Firestone. this is from, now we're going to the other side of the country. This is a, a great brewery in Calif California called Firestone Walker. Like where in California? They're like Central Coast, and 31 is the, California was the 31st uh, state. This has a ton, you know how there's just a, an unbelievable amount of testosterone wafting through this room right now. <laughs> Have you sensed that? Yeah, sort of. You sense that. <laughs> and uh, and this, this citrusy nose of this pale ale cuts Actually, through. This, this has a very nice taste. Doesn't it? Yeah, this has a more refined taste than the lager. This has more, that, that's maltier, more subtle yeah. and mellow. You're right, because it's a lager. They tend to be more mellow. And mm. the, the sort of robust, explosive, Maybe I'll start drinking notes. ale. I've never ordered ale. Nice. That's yeah. what our brewery mostly does, of 34 beers at our brewery. Is this yours? Uh, next one is. Oh, next one, okay. Mm, that's very good. But you like that one? And, Firestone Pale Ale. And, and uh, there's so much diversity in beer that you can find the perfect beer to pair with every food out there. Uh, in fact, wine has a lot of sort of Achilles heels, whether it's a chocolate or asparagus. That doesn't do you, work. For, do you know my father used to be a beer salesman? He used to work for Schaefer Beer. Is there still Schaefer Beer? Schaefer, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Schaefer is, is still made. And what's neat is in the era when your dad was working at Schaefer, there was, you know, 200, 300 types of Schaefers in every region around oh, the yeah. country. You know, yeah. all it was, these it was, awesome a very, regional... it was like the largest, that and Pabst Blue Ribbon. Is yeah. there still Pabst? Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and Rheingold. You know your stuff. Rheingold beer, I'm Miss impressed. Rheingold, yes. I'm impressed. Okay, now, what about Burton's So speaking of, of great heritage breweries, do you remember um, the one con called Ballantine's that used to be around? Of course. Right? And they made a great IPA kind of, or hoppy beers kind of before hoppy beers really took off in America. Their, their hoppy beer was called Burton Ale, and ours is called Burton I'm, I'm getting tipsy, guys. All right. Mission okay. accomplished. <laughs> I am, I'm feeling it. Mission am. So this, your set here is so cool, and you show like a classic mm, New this York. This is delicious. Your New York water tower thingy up there yep, that's is the, almost identical to the giant 10,000 gallon tanks that we age our beers on wood in. This one gets down the in wood Delaware? aging. Down yeah. oh, This is very good. This has a very, very different I'm taste. I'm gonna have to keep it moving through them though. Okay, yep. um, So this one's really neat. There's a moving, movement within the craft brewing movement for very small breweries. Oh, this is not my favorite. How, just by color? Don't, dark. don't be afraid of the dark, I'm, Martha. I, I am. Co you can't be afraid it's of the dark. It's too dark. This one's made locally by a small brewery called Blind Bat here in it's Long like Island. It's like Guinness. Well, Guinness actually has less alcohol in it than most regular <laughs> lagers. Color's <Sorry>. not alcohol. <laughs> so give it a try. You're gonna like, it's made, it's No, I, I don't like smoke. You don't? No. Well, I got a challenge here, but it's made with apple wood smoke. You can smoke. taste it. I'm just gonna taste it. Yeah, the, here, here. Okay. Come here, Joel. Joel will taste it. I love it. Joel, what do you think? Oh, that's good. Nice, man, See, he taste. likes that. All right, let me leave you on a note that I think you'll like. This beer is, based on evidence found in King Midas's tomb, a 2,700-year-old recipe. King Midas. Yep, it's got white muscat grapes, saffron, and thyme honey in it. Let okay. me know what you think of this one. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Mm, delicious. You like that one? Yeah, Good. I can taste the honey. So do you want a keg of this one or the namaste? No, the namaste. Okay, we can make that happen. <laughs> we can make that happen.
<laughs> perfect, perfect. These are so much fun, and uh, you can be my drinking partner anytime. I love. Hey, we should anytime. do. We should do all chocolates oh and beers gosh. show. We could oh, have a lot of fun. chocolate and beer. They go so well. They together. do. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to try that. And I have great news for our audience of men. Sam brought a copy of his book, "Brewing Up a Business: Adventures in Beer for Each and Every One of You." Yes! Sorry. Yes!